You didn't know this? Back in ancient times, Egyptian and Greeks, including Aristotle, an ancient Greek philosopher and scientist who was one of the greatest intellectual figures of Western history, believed that the heart, not the brain, was the center of thought and emotion. They thought the brain's primary function was to cool the blood. There was also a procedure called bloodletting, where if the doctor did think that something did wrong with you, they thought you had too much of something in your body like bad blood. So they take some of that blood out, thinking it would make the person better. It was like trying to balance things out by letting some blood go. To many today, you see them two things that we just mentioned? They consider it outrageous. As science progress, enough things improve wrong. Human's relentless quest for knowledge has greatly benefited life. Modern science keep raising the bar. And although there's a lot that we don't know today, and possibly won't know everything, we have to big up fellow human beings who led humanity on a more knowledgeable path. With that said, our video today about black Jamaicans having blue eyes will go into one era of science, genetics. Now the word genetics was only coined in 1906 to designate the new science of hereditary. And yes, even in this world that's said to be so advanced and modern, there are misconceptions, stereotypes, unawareness, and so about a lot of things including such things as black Jamaicans, black people overall, naturally having various colors of eyes, hair, looks, tones, and more. Genes are amazing things. The way we are formed, or features particularly, we can be born looking like either parents, both of them, or none of them. You ever hear people say you look like another family member, like your grandmother, or how your cousins, or how cousins may look like sisters? We've seen photos of where children look like family members they couldn't have possibly seen as they are several generations apart. That's the power of genes. Brown eyes, blue, hazel, and other colored variations of eyes, as well as here, come down to genes. And yet, there is still a lot for science to explore. Now, based on research, we are going to go through a couple theories as to why Fiwi Jamaicans born with blue eyes. Now, when you see people who look significantly different from you, what you do? Something normally happens. People are either curious, some may be fearful, some may be cautious, some may instantly take to the person, some may criticize or ridicule or other behaviors. But how you look is mostly beyond your control. As one would say, you just banned away there. But we are often crucified or praised for something we don't particularly have a say in. If people could, they would probably ask for different features. Many are displeased with something about themselves and may find it difficult to love their entire beings. But what's baffling is when someone dislikes you, shuns, ridicule, and yes, even praise you for God-given features. I mean, I know you make yourself. Now, let's talk about what we found during the research as it relates to black Jamaicans having blue eyes and different colors. Now, at this we find, one piece of content stated that the black race had that natural blue eyes within the race without the mixture of another race. The second one, it's being from a mixed race somewhere in your bloodline. It was mixed with Caucasians particularly Europeans. And it may be the third reason it may be a disease called Wardenburg. Now let's get into it. Grab a cup of tea and let's explore the thing. Now according to research, this is what they stated about the blue eye people as it relates to 10,000 years ago. 
there's a theory about a common ancestors for blue eye people so so essentially they must say are blue eye people related researchers suggest that between 6000 and 10000 years ago a baby born in europe had a genetic mutation that led to the first instant of blue eyes they believe that everyone with blue eyes today shares a distinct kinship with this ancient individual now as it relates to eye color it depends on a pigment called melanin you don't know that right which is also responsible for the color of whiskey now here they say the more melanin you have in your iris the darker your eyes will be that's why brown eyes are the most common worldwide about 70 to 79 percent have brown eyes blue is said to be the most second most popular with about eight to ten percent and green is one of the rarest eye colors worldwide no it is said as many as 16 genes influence eye color by determining the amount of melanin inside the specialized cells of the iris melanin is the pigment as we say responsible for eye color now the iris is the name of the colored part of the eye the iris surrounds the pupil which is the small black hole in the middle of the eye that helps control how much light enters it. If you have blue eye, it means the iris part of your eyes lack melanin. So technically them say blue eye now the color. There is no blue pigment in blue eyes, though they may be bluer than a crayon. Now most people are accustomed to Caucasians having blue eyes more than black people. But black people in a Jamaica and in other countries have blue eyes. So some say this could be due to genetic inheritance from non-Africans ancestors or rare mutations. So if you see somebody with blue eyes, it's all in the genes. Now another reason for blue eyes may be due to a rare genetic syndrome called Wardenburg or even forms of albinism. Albinism comes about when your body fails to make melanin, the pigment that gives skin color. Here, as well as eyes, their dark color. In some forms of albinism, only the eyes are affected. Now, as it relates to Wardenburg syndrome, it's a genetic condition that can affect people from all ethnic backgrounds, including black people. This year syndrome is passed down through families and can involve symptoms like deafness, pale skin, pale hair and eye color. There are four main types of Wardenburg syndrome, with types 1 and 2 being the most common. Symptoms can vary widely but may include cleft lip, constipation, hearing loss, extremely pale blue eyes or mismatched eye colors as well as pale skin, hair, and eyes due to partial albinism. So some people can have two different colored eyes. While there is no specific treatment for this syndrome, symptoms can be ma managed as needed, such as with special diets and medications for constipation. With proper care, most people with this syndrome can lead normal lives, although those with rare forms may experience additional complications. Now, sometimes eye colors may change due to aging. So you get older, your eye might change in a color. And that is normally considered harmless. Also, illnesses, medications, and even trauma can also cause change in eye color. As it relates to the first reason we stated, we're not finding credible sources on blue eyes naturally occurring in black people without any of what's mentioned above. We want to think, if we do find the information, we'll definitely do another video. So feel free to share anything in the comments. We love to hear, learn, and connect with you. The body is amazing, and learning more about ourselves and others can be helpful and create an environment of understanding and respect for all life. Now we have some intriguing topics lined up for you, so stay tuned. Tell us what you think about the video, you know?
you know anybody with blue eyes any jamaican tell us in the comments and big up to everybody no matter the eye color you have skin tone hair color features respect to all